Scuba diving is a great hobby and possibly the best way to explore what lurks in our oceans, but there are some places not even Scuba Steve would dare venture off to, from dangerous unpredictable underwater caves to the remnants of the US presence in the Pacific. Here are 13 creepiest scuba diving locations. Hey guys, this is America and I today. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. Number 13, Belvedere del Grotto de Nerio. This massive underwater cave located off the coast of Sardinia has a striking blue appearance that almost makes you believe you're in an entirely different world. This is named after the mythological character of Nereus and has attracted many scuba divers. You have to imagine this would be a pretty creepy yet mystifying place to go scuba diving. There are about 10 entrances into the caves which hold many bizarre creatures such as eel and a large variety of crustaceans. Number 12. Rumu Underwater Prison Located in Estonia, near a quarry, you'll find one of the creepiest places out there. A quarry was formed to gather marble in the 1930s, but it quickly became a prisoner camp where subjects would be forced into a life of hard labor. Near the quarry are two prisons, with the most visited one being Rumu Prison. Groundwater began to rise here and it submerged the prison, but it was surrounded by crystal clear water and white sands. It quickly became a tourist attraction and a popular scuba diving location, and strangely enough, among the Estonian people. People will come to the lakeside and enjoy picnics here despite the dark history. This photo here shows a daring scuba diver go below the surface of the lake into the underwater prison in Estonia. The photographer captured an eerie green glow with a part of the prison in the background. Number 11. The Blue Hole, Belize This large marine cavern seems to come out of nowhere off the shore of Belize near Amberges Cay. It was created from a sinkhole during the Ice Age and then it was filled up as the ocean level began to rise. While blue holes can be found in various locations around the world, this is considered to be the Great Blue Hole. It measures roughly 984 feet across. How deep do you think it is? It goes down an astonishing 407 feet, so reaching the very bottom is going to take some work. It became some of a tourist attraction when Jacques Cousteau declared it as one of his favorite scuba diving locations. However, not everyone's got scuba skills like Chuck. Due to large amounts of bull and hammerhead sharks, it's also one of the most dangerous. The nearly perfect circular shape would lead you to believe it's some kind of portal to a whole nother world. Number 10. Chuk Lagoon In 1944, there were more than 60 Japanese warships and 200 aircraft that met their watery grave in Chuk Lagoon in the South Pacific. This is located west of Micronesia, where an intense battle took place. Chuk Lagoon was one of Japan's strategic bases and it was wiped out by Allied forces. On land, this place looks like a tropical paradise, but below the surface of the water lies the biggest graveyard of ships in the world. Due to its history and spooky remains, it's become a popular scuba diving location. It's been rediscovered and in recent years, explorers have had the opportunity to see the devastation. Here in this photo, we see a tank covered in barnacles at the bottom of the lagoon. This photo here displays a car that was inside a Japanese ship that sank. Some scuba divers will even come across skulls. Number 9. Yonaguni Monument Strange underwater rock formations were discovered in Japan in 1987 that appear to reveal very smooth and flat edges, almost as if they were man-made. What's even more interesting about this site is that geologists believe that this area of land would have been above ground about 8 to 10,000 years ago. This certainly helps support the theory that the smooth, flat edges are no strange coincidence. If they were actually constructed by humans, which people are still debating, it would be the oldest known structure on Earth. This would drastically change many theories about the first civilization being in Sumeria, and people's minds would simply be blown. Number 8. The Salem Express Wreck One of the creepiest underwater places out there is the Salem Express Shipwreck that sank to the bottom of the Red Sea in 1991. This ship was carrying hundreds of Egyptian pilgrims, and the loss of life was reported at 470. Rumors still suggest that there were more, and the real number might have been more like 700. The wreck has been left in hauntingly good condition, which has made it a mecca for scuba divers with morbid curiosity. Most of the ship is currently covered in coral as you can tell in this photo. Many claim at midnight a gust of wind sent her into a coral reef, sending her to her final destination. Who says underwater places can't be haunted? There is still much controversy surrounding this crash, especially for the divers who want to check it out. Some of the deeper parts reach 108 feet below the surface, while some of the closer parts reach 39 feet below the surface. Number 7. Cancun Underwater Museum 
Normally, when you go to a museum, you can expect to see it above ground. However, this frightening photo here shows the underwater museum located near Cancun. You see a guy here sitting on his couch watching TV. Except this man isn't in his living room at all. He's at the bottom of the Caribbean Sea, and he's kind of changing color. Hold on, the next photo gets even creepier. Also located at the Underwater Museum of Art, this is the piece known as We Are the Reef. It shows how easily artwork can be consumed by nature when it's underwater. It's almost like a group of lost souls who are still consumed by the sea. Don't forget about this VW bug that's been submerged for the sake of art. There's over 500 life-size sculptures at this location, and this museum is becoming a hotspot for fearless scuba divers. Number 6. Moulinaire Underwater Sculpture Park Another strange underwater sculpture park similar to the one near Cancun, this scuba diving spot has some eerie discoveries waiting for you. Most of the sculptures are of people, and there's one in particular which seems to display people holding hands that seems like a scene from a horror film. The park was created in 2016, and it got started by Jason DeCare. There are over 50 lifelike sculptures which are in the process of becoming an underwater reef. You have to wonder what future archaeologists might be thinking if they uncover a place like this years from now. The variety of art and color formed from the reef make this place quite unique. Number 5. Bikini Atoll Scuba Diving Many would love to venture off to the South Pacific and scuba dive throughout the ships that were destroyed as a result of nuclear testing. You probably wouldn't want to tell your parents that you were going scuba diving here unless you wanted to give them a heart attack. Getting to this remote place to go scuba diving certainly isn't easy, and those who decide to take the challenge report paying about $12,000 in expenses for a two-week trip. The amount of ships that were destroyed here is quite astonishing. That's not all you'll find. There's planes, submarines, and tanks as well. A total of two aircraft carriers are permanently at the bottom of the sea right now. There's also the USS Independence, which is rumored to hold barrels of atomic waste. It could be one of the most radioactive places on Earth, and only the most fearless scuba divers will take the chance. You gotta wonder if they created some type of scuba diving hazmat suit to check this out. Number 4. Shark Tank You certainly feel your heart start to pound when you get lowered down inside a shark tank. Sharks are swimming all around you, and if something goes wrong, you might have a few problems. Scientists and scuba divers take their chances and essentially become bait in exchange for an up-close view of an underwater apex predator. Great white sharks are among some of the toughest creatures out there and certainly cause a panic when they're spotted at local beaches. These guys typically eat what they want, so you better hope your cage is sturdy enough to withstand the battle. Number 3. Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary Just recently, two shipwrecks were discovered off the coast of Lake Huron, Michigan using sonar. These were two massive coal-powered ships, both over 200 feet long. The Midwest produces much of America's grain, and these ships were used to transport thousands of tons of grain all over the place. The cold conditions of the Huron Lake have helped preserve the steel behemoths for over 102 years. Scuba divers get the chance to better understand the Ohio and the Choctaw by swimming up close with cameras. Various universities in the U.S. have donated money to the sanctuary to learn more about the Great Lakes and their mysterious ways. The fresh waters here preserve over 200 shipwrecks, and there's plenty to see when scuba diving goes on. Number 2. Ginny Springs, Florida Located in a privately owned park, the natural formations here are sure to give you the creeps. Florida is known for their dangerous spring scuba diving locations, which are almost like ponds with caves deep below, such as the Vortex Springs. There are plenty of caverns and caves to creep through, and if you make it to the bottom, you can notice the limestone formations. This one isn't too dangerous, considering that it only goes 50 feet deep. But just remember how to get out of the cave and maybe bring a flashlight. Some will use rope to help them keep tabs on where they're at, which could certainly prove to be useful. Number 1. Lake Candy, Kazakhstan Also known as the Sunken Forest, this crazy lake is located in the Central Asian country of Kazakhstan. This place was formed from an enormous landslide that was triggered from a 1911 earthquake that devastated the country. The landslide actually created a natural dam and it caused a nearby river to be blocked. The river overflowed and took over the forest. The spruce trees are now dead, but the tree trunks still stand tall. The spruce trees are no longer there, and the tree trunks still stand tall. This has become a favorite scuba diving location for many, but the water is always mysteriously cold. Some claim that the turquoise water of the lake has magical properties. What do you believe? So what do you guys think of that video? Let us know in the comment section and be sure to subscribe for new videos every day.